And we begin with a new two wheel trend. Scooters can be seen on street corners throughout the downtown area and each and every day more people seem to be riding. So far accidents have not been a problem, but just Tuesday firefighters were called to help a man who fell off and broke his arm. Bill Barajas found out more about the company's safety regulations and what people think about the different scooter brands. It's easy, convenient, and relatively cheap. Go ride down hills. Have a nice, valid driver's license. That's right, because kids aren't supposed to ride. And ride at your own risk. And one rider per lime. So sorry, oh. Alex. I was going to grab on behind you. Whether it's bird or lime, signing up is simple. Just download the app, and in minutes, you're cruising through town. It's a fun way to tour the city without having to walk all over and getting lost. And yeah, maybe a little bit less exercise, but it's still fun. The big question for many, safety and the rules when it comes to riding. I think you just have to see how fast it goes because I'm not really good at like staying coordinated, but for me it was pretty easy. It's not as easy for everyone though. On Tuesday, this man was hurt. He broke an arm when he fell off. EMS and firefighters were called out to help. That prompted us to check the safety requirements for both companies. Both scooter companies ask drivers to wear helmets. Bird even offers to send you a free helmet if you cover the shipping costs. Drivers are also asked to follow the rules of the road when it comes to traffic laws. And when parking, drivers are asked to park out of the public right-of-way and park properly by curbside. Jamie Davis, like most people we talk to, doesn't mind the rules and isn't scared of a possible accident. She says it's part of the risk. People have serious injuries on trampolines all the time, and I would still jump on that. Okay. Car accidents happen all the time. If you live your life in fear, then what's the point? APD and SAFD to find out if there had been an increase of accidents on scooters. Both say they don't track accidents specifically to scooters. An AFD, SA, SAFD spokesman said, quote, I can say that there has not been an increase in responses that has been significant enough to cause our command staff or operations staff to have been notified, end quote. And while we focused on Lime and Bird, a third company is expected in San Antonio soon. Live in downtown, Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News.